Welcome to Amusement Park Ticketing System made in Java with Swing GUI and database is in MySQL. This is totally dynamic project. Here you can create various categories, plans for ticket and food bills. You can update and delete any information, if required. You can also view the sales report according the any date period. Let's have a look to all the features of the project. When you will run the project for first time it will ask you to create administrator account. Create administrator account by filling various details. You can also upload the picture. After creating administrator account when you will run project again then it will go directly to login window. Fill the username and password entered while creating administrator account. From here you can create a new account to log in into our project. You can create new account for admin as well as employee. Just fill the various information for creating new account. After filling all the information just click add button. You can also search the user according to name and its username. After searching you will see its details in table. Just click on the record which you want to update. After clicking on its name you will see all its sold information in their respective fields and the button for updating and deleting record will activate. Change any information which you want to update. After changing just click on the update button. You can also delete the user, if required. Here you can add, update and delete various ticket categories. You can add new ticket category by filling up various details. After adding it will show in table. You can also update and delete any category by clicking on its name in the table. Here you can add, update and delete the ticket plan. First choose the category of the ticket. Here you can see that the category which was just added in previous frame is showing up here automatically. That is because this project is fully dynamic and connected with database. If you are liking this video and project, please like and share the video and subscribe to our channel.
You can also update any ticket plan by clicking on its name from the table. You can also delete any ticket plan, if required. Here you can add, update and delete any food categories as we did for ticket categories. Here you can add any food item. Here also you can see that the category which we just added is showing here automatically. Just fill the various details for the tickets and click on add button. Newly added ticket plan will show in table. You can also update and delete any ticket plan by clicking on its name from the table. Now let's see how to sell a ticket. For selling ticket you will have to fill up the various details of the customer like name, phone, address. Then you will have to choose the ticket category. Here also the ticket categories are dynamic in nature. According to the selected ticket category you will see its ticket plans. When you will choose the ticket plan, you will see its price which you have given while adding the ticket plan. After adding the desired tickets which customers wants to buy, you will have to click save button at bottom. After clicking on save button you will get the bill summary. You can also take print out of the bill by clicking on print button. Now let's see how to sell a food item. You will have to fill up the various details of the customer like name, phone, address. Then choose the food category. Here also food categories are coming from database. According to the selected food category you will see its food items. When you will choose the food item, you will see its price which you have given while adding the food item. After adding the desired food items which customers wants to buy, you will have to click on save button. After clicking on save button you will get the bill summary. You can also take print out of the bill by clicking on print button. From here we can see the sales report of ticket and food items. You can choose any period to see the sale report. You will also see the total sales summary below the table. You can also see the details of any bill by clicking on the bill.
You can also change the password of the log in the user. Just to fill the desired details and your password will be changed to new one. The new user which we added as employee can also log in into the project. But the users which be added as employees will get only limited options to run. You can buy this whole project with its full source code and database from www.projectsforeveryone.com. Also please like and share the video. Also subscribe to our channel.